So what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel guys. I am David. Big announcement on the channel. Uh, Shannon gave birth to our baby girl. For those of you who follow my channel, if you're new, what's up guys? I had a baby. If you follow the channel, you know that Shannon was pregnant. We're expecting our third. Well, she is officially six days old, six days old as of this recording. She is here. We're super pumped to have her. We named her Liliana guys. So if you want, if you drop a thumbs up, show her some love, or drop a comment below and welcome her into the world if you want to, guys, I would appreciate it. Um, but on today's episode, we have to kind of shoot this one a little bit on the faster side of things because I got to get inside to the baby girl because we do have three children under the age of four, and it's a lot for Shannon as she just gave birth six days ago. So I have to get in there and do my part as dad, which I'm stoked to do. But we had a little snow. You can see in the background, we had snow hit the ground. Now, the Coyote CK2610, it stalled out on me, guys. I started it up, I put my foot in the gas pedal, if you will, and it just bogged down and it stalled out. Now, I, I'm not the best mechanic in the world, but I know this about diesel engines. Not much can stall a diesel engine out. So, I, I instantly thought to myself, this is gonna be a fuel-related issue. I called up my dealership, and I gave him this. I gave him the same scenario, told him what happened, and he said, "Yep, this is probably going to be a fuel issue." He's like, "Replace your fuel filter." So I went down to my Coyote CK, uh, my Coyote dealer, and he hooked me up and gave me a, a fuel additive actually, and he gave me a new fuel filter. So I'm going to replace it. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to replace it, right or wrong. Please read your manual and figure out how to do yours. I'm just going to show you how I'm doing mine. All right, guys, let's jump right into this. All right, so first of the bat, this is gonna be the fuel filter, and that little white cap on the bottom is going to be the water separator, according to my dealer. <clears throat> this piece does not come on my new fuel filter, so I'm gonna to have to reuse this piece. So now we're gonna take the new fuel filter. We're just gonna simply insert this water uh, separator, give it a nice snug on there. <clears throat> now one of the mechanics down at my dealership said to fill this up with a little diesel to make the priming process go a little faster. So I'm gonna take this over and fill it up with some diesel real quick and we're gonna put it on. All right, got some diesel in it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this guy back on. Also put a little oil on this black ring up here. I wanna put a little oil on that. Well, at least I put a little oil on mine to make this snug up a little bit easier. And I'm sure this is like any other filter where hand tight is gonna be good. Okay. So up top here, we got a little primer, this little um, spring thing here you see. It primes it, so there's a couple, couple pumps to get it primed up. And then right here is gonna be a little valve to, to let the air out. Now, as per my dealer, he said to pump it a few times and then use that to release the air. And that should be good. I'm giving this snug back down. I'm gonna hit it one more time with the primer. And let's see if this guy will start.
well, it started up. Uh, you can hear, obviously, in the background. We gotta let it warm up, and then I gotta put a load on it and see, what, see if it solved the problem. Fingers crossed, I really hope it did. All right, so the tracker's warmed up. Uh, the needle is at the halfway mark. I let it warm up. You wouldn't realize it on camera, obviously, but it's probably been just idling for 15 minutes. Um, I like it to be completely warm. But when it's cold, I like it to be completely, completely warmed up before I take the tracker and do anything. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and put some throttle to it and see if it stays running. Fingers crossed. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. That definitely worked. Uh, the fuel filter was a very simple thing to do. Uh, I would encourage that if your tracker stalling out or you're having an issue with it, as far as starting or anything like that is concerned, I would say try that fuel filter out, guys. Uh, my tracker's owner manual says to replace it at 200 hours. Now, my dealer recommended that I replace it at bare minimum of once a year. So I'm gonna stick with that regimen and I'm just gonna replace it once a year, if not a little sooner than that. Now that being said, check with your dealer, check with your owner's manual and all of that stuff to make sure it is that it's gonna be a similar problem. If you're having a similar problem, that that is gonna be the case scenario. You don't wanna destroy your piece of equipment. So go the extra mile, make sure it is what it is. In my opinion, before you do anything, just make sure. But it worked for me, super pumped guys. So I'm out of here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, like I said, a little short video, not that big of a deal, but I gotta get running, go take care of them babies guys. So we're gonna end it here. Two things as always, do not forget to take the time to enjoy what you do. And don't forget, work does not do itself. So don't be afraid to get out there and get after it.